episode eight of the Football Manager 2019 Aston Villa career mode. Uh, let's have a look at the league table and um, league positions, league table. Okay, so uh, 12 games to go. 12 games to go. Look at the form of Brentford. Look at the form of Brentford. It's fucking ridiculous. They just don't stop winning. They just don't stop winning. They're absolutely on an amazing run. Look at that. Look at that. Since the turn of the year, I don't know what they had in their New Year's Eve party drinks, but they've just they've just won nearly every bloody game they've played. And uh, they're relentless. They've come from nowhere. They're top of the league. We're two points behind them. We're four points ahead of Leeds in uh, third place. So a bit of breathing space. And um, if I go back to the homepage, the fixtures that we've got coming up, we got uh, Derby, Birmingham, Forest, Middlesbrough, Blackburn. So a run of uh, quite difficult games to come, but we're not doing too badly. I have a bad case of diarrhea, says Sokon uh, Malwitz. Uh, oh dear. And uh, I will let you know when you finish in the top four says SL710 and Mark Brentford are going to win the championship says Davy and Frances they're hot they're hot at the moment for sure 100% they just they can't stop winning they can't stop winning playoffs will be hard says Anavan that's why we want to avoid it Brentford always do well in football manager for some reason says Fellaini 07 maybe one of the owners of football manager is a Brentford fan you know maybe that's the case Mark feeling the pressure, says Jameson Stefano. No, let me silly. I don't feel the pressure. Um, when you're next off to Old Trafford, says Ryan Evans. I think I'm going to go to the Fulham game. Uh, not the Fulham game, the Watford game. I think, I think. And uh, when do we play against Brentford, says Luca. We did, we lost. They beat us, didn't they? They played us. Uh, we played them already. So next game's Derby County at home. They're 20th in the league. They're not doing very well with Super Frank. Um, so that hopefully will be a three-pointer for us. But we need to uh, we need to get to keep keep it going. Hi Mark. Hope you're well. Looking forward to podcast tomorrow. What are the topics? Says John Frischente. I don't know yet. I don't know yet because um, I've got a busy day tomorrow. We've got Champions League live draw on the United Stand. We'll probably have Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's press conference as well, as well, plus the podcast on my channel. So it's a busy day. Mark's going to take the L, says Harshit. I don't really deal with them. And anyway, your L looks like a capital I. So what's an I? Inbox scouting meeting. Um, not interested. I'm, I'm, I'm focused on getting Aston Villa promoted. The transfer market is very, very... Um, uncertain because if you're in the Premier League all bets are off if you're back in here then you know yeah very very sad about Charlie Whiting says uh, Jack Scam um, I'm just watching a very good series on Netflix at the moment about F1 as well I'm on episode 6 brilliant absolutely brilliant are you doing a stadium tour for the Wolves game says Nick they're not big enough Wolves are not big. Wolves are not worthy of a stadium tour. I'm sorry. All you're gonna do is turn up and go. Oh, here's the Steve Ball stand. Their best striker ever when they never even never even played in the top league. Are you getting that snooker game? Snooker 19 marks says Douglas James Horn. I am. If you fancy a game, I'll give you a game. I am gonna get it. Yeah. I can't wait to play. I don't know when it's out yet. I think there's an, an announcement at two o'clock, which I'm gonna keep an eye on. Scoops, young player of the year, Abraham. Well done. I didn't congratulate him. I don't. In a way. I don't really think I needed to. Anyway, let's get to some games. Uh, I didn't see the apparent leak of the draw. Nightwind plays MC, but I'm. If you want to let us know, we'll read it out. I'm pretty much convinced that um, we will get. Um, I'll send John Terry to the uh, press conference because he. It's an old teammate of his, isn't it, uh, Lampard? Um, I'm convinced that Man City or Liverpool will get Porto. Board are very happy. Squad dynamics are very good. Pre-match -ta pre tactics. We're going to go with that. And we're definitely going to go with an attacking mentality for this game. I knew they'd like that. And meeting, inbox. <coughs> Ronnie Thompson says, Rob, get Goldbridge out. I've had enough. Robbie, it's time to go. Let's just praise this. This lad's really good, actually. I'm glad that he's done well in training. James Bree, he's been on loan. He's now first choice right back and he's only 20 years of age. He looks absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, who do I want for the draw, Prodigy King, for United? I don't. I, I would rather avoid Liverpool, Man City and Barcelona and keep them back for the final, to be honest with you. I know I'm not bothered if we get Liverpool or Man City or Barcelona, but I just think if I was Liverpool and Man City, I'd have the same mentality. You want an easier draw in the quarterfinals because your eye is not only on the Champions League at the moment. Leave the tougher games for later if you can because playing a tough game in the quarterfinals means you're going to get a tough semi-final. So that's four tough games before you even get to the final. And you're trying to do things in your domestic league as well. You want to try and avoid a, a tough game if you can. If we get it, we get it. But yeah, the advantage will be to the teams that get the easier draw, I'm afraid. And I just fancy City to get a, an easy draw. I think they get Porto. The balls are warm. The balls are warm. Oh, anyway, it's good. It's nice to be live. Let's uh, let's get on with the first game. When you're doing the treadmill challenge, says Leon Allen. Next week. Next week. What a what a, what a, what a prat is what I would say. What a prat. I'm good, Zico. I am. I am. I am very good. Right. Team selection. We've got to get three points here today. You sometimes worry about games like this. Mungo Bridge. Has been playing at left back for one game because uh, Taylor, where are you? Where are you, Taylor? Bloody hell, look at the size of this squad. It's too big. This needs work in the summer. Oh, it does. It really, really does. So Heath Chong is still injured. We'll just go with the same team. We'll go with the same team. We're happy with that. Mumbo number five. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Liverpool will get a hard team and bottle the league, says Canned Clock Gaming. If you don't get to the Premier League, will you continue, says David O'Mahony. Um, I think the end game's got to be to get to the Premier League to do a sit to do a year two as a stream. I think that's got to be. Yeah, I think we've got to put that down there and say that if we don't get promoted, that will be the end of it. Fucking one nil down again, knobheads. One nil down already. I told you. I told you, didn't I? Well, I didn't tell you, but you know what I mean. They're right down near the bottom of the league and you go 1-0 down. <sighs> Prats. Yeah, you can, you can come off, you useless shit. <clears throat> Fucking hell. I don't know if it's uh, extra time or not. Oh, here we go. Look, Derby going to score again. Better bloody not. Fuck off. Fucking Derby. Bottom of the league, more or less. And we're getting turned over 2-0 at home, you fucking wankers. Absolute disgrace. You think I'm sitting back for this? You think I'm sitting back for that? Fucking bollocks. Who's underperforming here? Neil Taylor, shit, 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 shit. Albert Adama, absolute shit. Get off. Absolute wankers. Fucking useless. Useless.
Fucking rubbish. Losing to Derby when you need to, when you want to get promoted. It's just sent someone off as well. Codger's only just bloody come on. Oh, forget about it. 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 I'm, I'm only saying that so I don't keep swearing. Bloody bring what? Bring a player on and he's sent off the first thing he does. Game gone. Forget about it. Three nil, absolute twats. From another set piece as well. Oh, I get, I get so, I get fr so frustrated. Imagine what I'm going to be like when I'm man managing United Stand FC. I get so angry. Losing to sheep shaggers, as Zico says as well. Yeah. I don't, don't tell me bloody tact. Do you think I give a shit about Tom Lawrence and Harry Wilson controlling the game when we're three 0 down at home to a team at the bottom? Couldn't give a shit. Stop giving me instructions. I've lost interest. Just like my team did from second one in this game. Forget about it. I don't care if they're trying to send in low crosses. <clears throat> Useless shower of shit. Get me in that dressing room. Put in this. I'm going to be aggressive with them. Useless shower of shite. I'm not going to get sacked for losing one game, but. It's annoying <clears throat> because it was an opportunity to open up a little bit of a gap and Leeds fucking won. What a surprise. Leeds won, so there'll be a point behind us now. Swansea drew. That's not bad. Brentford lost. Bloody Brentford lost at home to QPR, who I think are in the hunt as well. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so QPR is six points off. Swansea four points off. Leeds a point off. It's getting tight again. It's getting tight again. John Terry's blown his top. Storming out of press conferences. Don't slip. Well, great start to stream. 3-0 beaten by... Um, Derby. What a what a joke. What a bad start. So Jamie says hi hi, hi hope you're alright. Have my had he injured? Great. Doesn't really matter, does it? Anyone fancy Wednesday get into the playoffs as Neil Hooley? In real life? Aston Villa have been on a good run in real life. They beat Forest last night. They beat Birmingham at the weekend. So we're, we're actually going into those two fixtures, funnily enough. So Hi Mark, I sent another email and no response yet, says uh, Mohammed Ibrahim. I thought I had responded. Look, I don't want, look, if you've not had a response, you've not got through, Mohammed. That's what I'm, I did try to sell that yesterday, but um, the, the, the invites have gone out now, so apologies. A lot of people didn't get through to the trials, though. Peppa Pig watch along, Mark, says Neil Hooley. 
Don't bottle it, says I, John. You know, as soon as I said, <clears throat> as soon as I said that if I don't get promoted, this will be the end of the football manager career mode for Villa. We go and bottle it. Should have kept me quiet, whoever asked me that question. If you don't get promoted, will you resign, says KB. Yeah, that's pretty much the the, the sort of thing that I'm uh, putting down there. That's just vulgar, Derek. I haven't read anybody telling me what the Champions League leaked thing is at the moment. If anyone knows what the... Oh, yeah, we're just going to get loads of lies, people, now. <laughs> So I've got two big games coming up. Twan Sebi's injured for a couple of days. That's all right. Don't worry about that. Birmingham City away and then Nottingham Forest away. Two big, big games they are. Lose them both. I think we're in trouble. What size of squad are you picking for the United Stands? About 30, I think. This James Bree is looking good. I'm not going to watch uh, the Emmerdale Cup tonight. No, I just hope that they win. Because I want them to stay in Europe. Because I think that will make it harder for them to get top four. Bloody know in Arsenal they'll get lucky and get knocked out. How do you lower down the mentality, Ricky? A lot of people tell me to, to lower down the mentality. I, I, I don't even know that. I don't even know how to do it. Sell out. Let's have a look at those weekend results. That could put a bit of pressure on his plane on a Sunday. Man United versus Ajax, says I, John. 100% mark my words. My favourite channel on YouTube and my favourite YouTuber. Keep it up the works, says Mr. Hoss. Thanks, pal. Uh, it's in tactics. Have a look. Tactics. Oh, yeah, mentality. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to go with that anyway. <laughs> I think we might get Juventus, Fraser. I think we're going to get Juventus. Ooh, I think Brentford have lost two games in a row. The bubble has burst. They got beat by Huddersfield. And Leeds have lost as well to Bristol. QPR, Drew, and Swansea. So if we win... That's a good run of results for us there then. Bright Brentford leads draw losing as well. Very good. Very good. So that's a good set of results. Sean Burke says, How is the draw leaked if it is a live draw? Oh, they have hot balls and all that lot apparently. And, uh, and actually, they they were leaked last year because it was, wasn't Liverpool Roma leaked way before, and they even had the the way it was going to play, who was going to play home home and away because they were selling tickets before it.
How do you find a player? Moving to the under 18s. Gobby shit. Don't need him getting himself sent off. City are definitely going to get Porto, 100%. I agree with you, Beast FC. Right, <clears throat> let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. We've got games to play. Twan CB. Let's get him back in. Who's he? What does green mean? Oh yeah, it's because I've got everyone in it. Filtered. Get rid of Codger. The Hogan. And who rounds ready? Good. There we go. Let's see what we can do in the Midlands. Well, not even the Midlands derby. It's the Birmingham derby. It's Birmingham versus Aston Villa. Thanks for voting for me in the FBA's Callum Acton. I tried to get people to vote last night, but it wouldn't work, would it? Oh, we're in. Oh, he's offside. Bollocks. Nearly. Whoa, come on. That's a terrible decision. That is a terrible decision. Level. Come on, Balassi. That's a goal. That's a goal. You don't miss those. Tammy Abraham. Tam Whammy Bammy Tammy. That's what I call him. Whammy Bammy Tammy. Rubbish name, innit? But he scores again. Balassi. He's on. What? Trying to get him offside for that, are you? He was never offside. Never in a position to be offside. 1 0, says KB. 10,000. Boom shakalak. Two nil. I missed the goal. It's Tabby Abraham again. This is electric. Oh, that snooker game's not out, Douglas. If you're still watching, it was a rubbish update. It was a rubbish update. They just said it's out in the spring. Rubbish. I thought it was coming out today. I was getting ready to play it. Mummy, bummy, Tammy's got two. He could be on a hat-trick here. He actually has got a hat-trick. He was he had a disallowed goal for nothing. But this is this is this is what this is what Goldbridge teams do. They bounce back. Wham bam, thank you, Tam, says Mark Robinson. I like it. Oh bog off. Up yours. Up yours, Birmingham. It's actually a very equal game. Sean Burke says the allocation for the Champions League is £17,000 each and the capacity is £68,000. What, what are you on about, Sean? The draw's not even been done yet. So I don't know what attendance you're on about. Come on, Grealish. Oh. Let's get a third. Third goal wins this. Who's playing shit? Adoma again. 
What a surprise. Waste of time. Who else is playing shit? Grealish. Come on, get the third goal. Win it. We've got to win this. Go on! Go on! Balassi, I think he hits the post and it hits the goalkeeper on the back and goes in. It's one of those. Yes, it is. My eyes don't deceive me. 3 1. This is going to be a big three points. I can feel it. Afternoon, boys. How's it going? Says Joel Merry. We're all good, Joel. Uh, first game we lost, but this is uh, the way the results have gone. If we can get a win here, it'll be really good. Good save from the keeper there, from Mahoney. Yes, we're looking good here. We're looking good here. Oh, Grealish is actually playing really well now. Um, Balassi for Gomez. And Swan C B oh, we can't take him off. Breeze playing well. No, we'll just do, we'll just do the one sub. Chong's injured, Kizzy. Chong's injured. He should be back soon, but he is injured. Oh, it's the allocation for the final, says Dean Considine. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish, isn't it? Blow your whistle. Toot toot. Toot toot, ref. Come on. That'll do. That'll do nicely. A very, very good three points. Well done, boys. You've deserved my respect. And we're back on top at league. Look at that. Everyone's played 36 games and we are top. That's where we need to stay. Send John Terry to there. Keep him away from the wives. There we go. Uh, Jameson Steven X says that United got Barcelona and Liverpool got Porto in the league. So keep your eye out for that. The leaks sometimes are true. They are sometimes true. Grealish does need a rest, Cy Guy. He needs a week off. Uh, I think we'll, we won't play Grealish against Forrest. Not because I'm giving Forrest any favours with their two stars above their name, but because he does need a rest. I bet Salford would be begging to have me back now, Carito Janga. I, I guarantee it. Mick McCarthy took several questions. About Andre Green, you got no chance. He's coming with me. He's coming back. It's probably bollocks, yeah. I think all these leaks are probably bollocks. Got more leaks than a sieve. Interesting fact, John Terry actually started his career on loan from Chelsea at Nottingham Forest. Not many people know that. Brentford, Sheffield United, Leeds, Reading. Could do with them dropping some points before we play on Wednesday. Rub the hands together if they do. Nope, they both bloody won. Great. Both win 1-0. Sod off. Up yours. <laughs> and 
Mohammed Ibrahim, I sent an email and please check it and reply. Yeah, you're taking the piss now, Mohammed. You've been answered to three times. Right, we are going to drop Grealish for McGinn. And the rest of the team, I think, can stay the same. Chong's nowhere near being fit. So there we go. Back, back home to Nottingham for Goldbridge, just up the road, an hour's drive. Might pop in and see the parents after this one. So uh, let's get the result over the line, though. Important thing away from home, don't get beat. Oh, good start there. Oh. It's been a good start. Come on, the Villa. Oh, come on. Watch out. Watch out. That's it. Come on. Come on. Let's be having you. Ah, here we go. Forrest scored. Bog off. I knew it. I knew we were going to lose this game. Sodani. Sod off, more like. Sod off, Sodani. Militao's gone to Real Madrid, has he, uh, August Egberg? He's a player that um, Mourinho wanted, so he's going to be a very good player. I don't think he suits United, though, because he's not really a dominant sort of centre-back. I think he's more of a, a play, ball-playing centre-back. So I think he will. Uh, he's probably not what United are looking for, to be honest, but I think he'll be a good player of the future. Come on! Very equal game. Mark, what school did you go to? I'm at two till, says Tom Hazelwood. Yep, that's the school I went to. Get get them to come get tell them all about Hey Tommy, hey, wham bam, thank you, Tam. Tell them I'll come back and do a speech, Tom. They probably don't know anything about me. I'm probably one of the most famous people they've ever had at that school, actually. I think they had a cricketer there, but and some shit footballer was there a couple of years older than me. He played for Notts County briefly. But um yeah, I'll, I'll go back and do him a speech. Tell, tell him. Tell him. I'll do it. I think United will get Toby because he's the cheap option, says Mark Robinson. Of course we will. And he's on the decline. I need to talk about that on the show tonight, actually. Thanks for reminding me. Thanks for reminding me about that. Mark Robinson. Half time. Nil nil. One one. Sorry. Big three points if we can get it. Odegaard is the greatest talent from Norway ever. Fact, says Elric Jarg Milverberg. Where is he now, though? He went to Real Madrid. Didn't work out well. And uh, Sion Roberts says, You impregnate my wife. I want a child with your DNA. <laughs> Thank you. I fully accepted it and apologise for repeating the same stuff. Sorry, says Mohammed Ibrahim. No worries, pal. And haha, ha, that's made my day. You'd be welcome back, says Tom Hazelwood. And tell me some of the teachers that are still there. I'm trying to think teachers that might still be there from when I was there. Well, most of them will be dead now. Just read out old teacher names and I might remember them. Come on. I think we need to go and try and win this.
Who's this crap? Yannick Balassi. Eight o'clock show tonight, Sean Burt, back in the normal spot. Looks like it's going to be a draw there. Yes! Oh, I thought we'd won it at the end. Come on. Maybe we can just get a chance at the end. Point's not a bad result, but it's going to be a point. It's a point. It's a point. It's not a bad point. It's not a bad point, but... We've lost our place at the top. It's getting tight again. Who's injured now? Graylish, Taylor and Twan CB. Yeah, shut up. International break coming up after this game. I'm not watching the Emmerdale Cup tonight, no. No. I've got loads of TV to catch up on that I haven't watched over the last couple of days because I've been watching Champions League games, so... I'm not missing out on more telly for Arsenal. And they and Arsenal should win that game, let's be fair. Toby and Lindelof would be a solid centre-back partnership. Says KB, 10,000. Yeah, for about 12 months. Alderweireld's on his way down. He's on the decline. He's 30, isn't he? 30 coming up for the... I think he's 30... If he's not 30 already, very, very soon. I said this about Alderweireld when we were linked to him last summer. I don't want him because he's a good centre-back, but he's another Sanchez. He's another Gareth Bale. He's definitely declining. He's lost a yard in pace over the last 18 months, and he's going to be 30. It's I just... I'm fed up with these sort of players. SB says it. Toby is slow and declining. So we've got an international break coming up after this game. So Lansbury's injured. Don't care. He turned 30 this March, says Jake Pert. Yeah, I thought I was right about that, Jake. And I was. Right. Get a win before the international break and, and everybody's happy. Karita Janga says if he's 30, I don't want him at all. Lots of people watching today. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Bottom right hand corner and smash a like. We've got uh, United FIFA career mode starting next week. So we'll be interspersing that with this. Uh, Mr. Tinsley rings a bell. Tom Hazelwood. Mr. Rahman, Mrs. Paley, Mr. Tomasevich, Mr. Tinsley. No, I don't recognise any of them. I think a lot of the teachers I had there. Bunting. Uh... Trying to think of earlier ones. Doubleday, Hargreaves, maths teacher. I think he would have retired by now. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of teachers, but I think a lot of them will have gone. Ferdinand was quality until he was 34. Says Kate. Yeah, but Rio Ferdinand was one of the best mid defenders in the world. Alderweireld's not one of the best defenders in the world. Ferdinand was like Van Dijk is now. <laughs> Need to beat Middlesbrough. Right, let's get Grealish back in. Is uh, Chong fit yet? No. What? How long is he out for? Dislocated shoulder.
Des Walker was a very good centre back, Neil. Very good. I think Ferdinand was probably better, but he was very good, Des Walker. Very good indeed. Need to get a win today. Adrian Rabiot to Manchester United is not a done deal, knacker shit. You're the only one saying it, and you keep saying it, so don't listen to him. He's full of shit, is Nash Iket. What's going on with us at the moment? Dean Considine says there are some reports uh, about Rabiot. He's free. It'd be a very good signing because he's free. I'd be happy with that. Because I don't think we're going to get a midfielder if we don't get... And he, he can play that role. But I don't see it happening. I've never thought about downloading the tactics off the Football Manager Scout website. No, Baz J, because I'm winning... Oh, he's been disallowed again! Because of my I can sort my own tactics out. Pushing another player. That's what it got disallowed for. I thought that was in. This is, uh, we're, we're being pushed harder in this game than I want us to be. I'll tell you that. Paul McGrath was a good centre-back. Yeah. Half-time, nil-nil. Dressing room. It'd be a good it'd be a good it'd be a good signing, um, Rabiot, but I don't I don't think we'll do it. I think uh I think he was always going to Barcelona, wasn't he? But um, they've got De Jong now, but so you'd wonder where he's going to go. I could, I can see him, but because he's free, you're going to have to pay him a good wage, which will mark out people like a, like an Arsenal. Right, we need to make some subs here. We're, we're dead on our feet. Adama again, shite. Tammy Abraham not playing well, but he's fired up. Come on, lads. Let's get a winner. Rabiot could go to Bayern, actually. Actually, it would make a lot of sense. Kick clash here. God, another bloody draw. We've got to, get, we've got to try and win this. sent off fucking hell nil nil draw Get in, Connor Hurahan. That could be a massive goal at the end. We've got it. We've bloody done it. Taylor with the cross. Hurahan steers it home. Goldbridge esque. Well, that's a massive three points. Massive three points. That is. Blow your ref. Blow ref. Ref blow. Yes. 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 I have some of that. Have some of that. Good win, boys. Well done. 
Well bloody done. Well done, sirs. Goldbridge time. It's a gold goal from Hurahan and uh, send John Terry. We needed to win that. You can't be drawing against Forest, then drawing against Middlesbrough as well. And I can't see what everybody's done there, so we'll just check league table. Well, Brentford haven't played yet. Leeds did win. Presume Brentford are probably playing on the Sunday. Unless they're playing a cup game, they might be playing a cup game. Let's have a look at Brentford. Yeah, they're not they're playing on the seventeenth. Tuesday. In the FA Cup, yeah. So, literally eight games to go. We are top, but Leeds are only two points behind us. Which makes it a little bit weary. Let's have a look at our running. We've got Leeds away, bastards. That's a shame. Leeds away, Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham away, Bristol at home, Bolton away. We've only got three, four home games, four away games it's quite an easy well let's see how we do let's see how we do but that will be the run in anyway thanks everyone for watching it's an international break now on this so what i'll do is i'll smoothly move through the international break for the next stream tomorrow so that we go straight into a game otherwise we're going to be sat here for 10 minutes but uh, we'll be live tonight at eight o'clock with uh, united versus wolves preview tomorrow's a big day on the united stand we've got the champions league draw on there Ole Gunnar solskjaer's press conference i'll be back here tomorrow doing one of these as well so thanks everyone for watching i'll speak to you later on the united stands and uh, yep have a good rest of your day and i'll see you later thanks for watching